and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swishing and Reviewing Domino's Pizza. Wild one today in this. I mean, very, very, very wild uh, because it, it actually opened late and I didn't notice that until, um, well, until it was too late, really. Um, this sometimes happens in this, in this market and it's frustrating and I've done a great job of that, gosh, for the last year, more, more than the last year. Um, that keeping us out of plays that don't open yet and today got sucked in because the pre-market volume was there and here this goes this is breaking again this is good but I'm going to show you what happened this morning otherwise I probably would not have done it uh, so but it did set up again so let's look at Domino's Pizza this is a bearish gap down that did rate good to short again unfortunately we ended up getting stopped in this because it really didn't open so here was the open but I didn't know that until after I went back and looked at it because I thought it was open so we got in we got stopped pushed back laid off of it didn't do anything didn't do anything didn't do anything waited 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 one of the confirmation and then this ended up setting up right in here um, as a late play into the morning and it was clearly broken by this point dropped down and just set on another alert, if you want to add more in here, you can already have taken more in here with a tight, tight stop because this really shouldn't back up at all because of the lift that it had this morning. But again, this was never a long today. And, and we wouldn't have done it if, if, if I would noticed that it wasn't open on time. It sucks when that happens, but it sometimes does. There's something you could do about it. Also call it a put in this. Again, a quick one. It's got to go today, and it's going. And this really has to drop and go today. 1.39 in the afternoon. I don't think this needs the market. Going to take a quick peek here at the SPY. No real read on this right now. DPZ is on its own. It doesn't need the market. Targets 245. I know that seems like a long way away, but the way this stock moves, not really. This stock could move $5 in like five minutes. So the fact is that this isn't going to back up. This is going to fall. This could even fall another day, but here it goes. As soon as this breaks 249, this should be a goner. Like full on, full, full on break like kaboomy, a kaboomy break. Yeah, I mean, DPZ does definitely does not need the market. So we'll see where this goes. But again, I think a lot of times it's good to do these plays as fast plays. Unfortunately, this morning it wasn't the fast play. But this afternoon, this should follow through. And for the options play, I think this should be a fast play. This has got to continue down today. Falling, 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 falling. It's going to be a question of where does it go in the time of the day into the close. So watch this into the close for the people that are in it. 1.41 in the afternoon, closing at 4. So we got a little bit over two hours left for this to go another $3 plus, maybe 5 like I said, 4 4 Four or five. I'll be happy with three. We'll see where this goes. Good luck, everyone. Nice, nice gap here. I knew I liked it. Wasn't sure if it was going to set up in the morning. Got sucked in then when it wasn't open, but flipped it around here. This is working. Good luck, everyone, if you're in it. Have a good day. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, the class for July is this weekend. Uh, don't miss the deadline. It's July 20th and 21st. If you want to get in before earning season. Well, actually, it's earning season now, but to, for the whole earning season. Have a good day, everyone. Email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com.